What's up, guys? Uh, it is Tuesday, which is odd for us to be making a vlog on uh, on Tuesday, isn't it, Josh? Who is morphed into the bed right now? I take full responsibility. Yeah, it was Josh's fault. Anyway, um, so we're making up for yesterday by uploading this today, and then you'll also see us in the talk in a couple hours, I guess. Um, so we did a few things this weekend. Uh, one of the things that we did was we went bowling for the first time in like a decade. I love bowling. And so do I. And uh, I haven't been in like, I'm gonna say two years, which I feel like is wrong. Like if, it might be longer. Your hair it's looks been awesome, a while, by the way. Yeah. It's been a while. Um, I won. Who knew? Both rounds. Both, both rounds. Yeah. Uh, I got more than a perfect game, which I guess is hard to do. So that was good. That was good. And then, okay, and then halfway through, right? They decide that they're, it's going to be cosmic bowling. Well, I mean, we there, there was like 15 minutes left. There was like 15 minutes left, and they're like, we're going to do cosmic bowling Before today. they leave. Before they leave. So they're like, over the announcements, they're like, uh, in five minutes, we're going to be doing cosmic bowling. And that, there was like this big countdown thing, and it's like, uh, cosmic bowling in five, four, three, three, two, one. Then all the lights just turned off, and we're like, oh, is this it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Their version of cosmic bowling is just... <laughs> a more bowling in the dark. version of regular bowling. But it was it was Earth Day. So. so so it made sense for ten seconds and then all the lights came on. Yeah, and then they're like, okay, black lights on. And then black <laughs> lights came on. And then there was lasers and there was glow in the dark shit. And there was weird music. And then there was weird music. And there was like requests Animation. and stuff like yeah, was, was that like across the country? It was from Michigan or something. It was like from that. Michigan. Yeah. They're like, Oh, there's a birthday in Michigan today, so happy birthday. So it's like bowling it's like cosmic bowl radio. Yeah. It was kind of cool. I, I had it was pretty fun for it was the, the, the first time in uh, in a long time doing it. It was a good first experience. Mm -hmm. um, and then I went to see Cabin in the Woods. I uh, had already seen it previously. Josh had already seen it prior to me going. Uh, he doesn't invite me out. We only do this ever. We don't ever hang we out. We don't hang out this. We don't. We don't do that. <laughs> um, I thought it was a really cool movie. It was a lot different than what I was expecting, though. And that's uh, what I was offering. You think you're yeah. going to see one thing. And you come out being like, what did I just witness? Yeah, it's not what you're expecting at all, but I loved it. It was really, really cool. Um, you should all go see it. It was great. Yeah. And I they like... didn't even pay us to say that. And they didn't even pay us, but, I mean, you yes, can. Yeah, if you want. Cat in the Woods. Who did Joss I? Whedon. Joss. Will Whedon. I knew you were going to ask me that. It's so <laughs> weird. We do this too often. <laughs> yeah. We know each other too well for this. Um, but I had an awesome weekend. I'm sure Josh did as well. We also went to Guelph. Oh, okay, so we went to Guelph, right? And we went to a, a party. As we do. As we do. And uh, at the end of the party-ish, we decided we wanted to get some food. This is an awful story that I'm we were a little, not a fan of retelling. We were a little peckish, right? <laughs> you can just say hungry. We were a little starvation in the stomach, right? <laughs> You'd still just say <laughs> So we decided that we're going to go get some food. Where did we go first? We went to Smokes. We so went to Smokes. Jasper's friend did get some. Which is like this... Uh, poutinery. Poutinery, which I didn't even know was a real thing, but apparently is. Which is awesome, because I love poutine and I'm Canadian, so... You know. I don't like poutine. You, son, you can get the fuck out. I just don't like cheese. <laughs> <laughs> what? I've never liked cheese and you know that. Oh yeah, that's right. You <laughs> I was so startled, and then I realized why. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so, me. so we went there, and then we didn't get anything there because we didn't really want poutine that night. But we were in the building for half an hour. But we were in the building for half, like, waiting, right? For whatever reason. And then, so then, uh, Josh is like, oh, let's go to this uh, hot dog vendor that's street down the street, meat. street meat, which sounds hot, but it's not. And then, so we went there. And then there was a guy, and he was like, oh, can we get some hot dogs? Oh, I'm closing. And he, like, closed the thing. So I am, when I get hungry, you guys, I get frustrated, okay? I, I eat a lot. And when I don't get to eat... He gets I, punchy. I get punchy and just frustrated. I just get super frustrated. Mm -hmm. So our friend suggested, okay, don't worry. Nobody freak out. I'm going to walk to McDonald's, and I'll just get something for everybody. And I'm just like... No, you can't. No, I'm coming with you. Like, I thought he was going to make him walk downtown by himself. Well, so I say, okay, I'll come. And then Graham and company, we all go together. Mm -hmm. We all end up going. And the walk is fine. It was only like an extra 10 minutes. 
or so. But or, it was really cold. Yeah, it was a pretty... Uh, it was whatever. We mm. walked the extra of whatever it was. So we get to McDonald's. The inside is locked. We don't have a car because we had been drinking and we don't drink and drive. So I say, let's flag a cab and the cab will take us through... We're literally across the street from the McDonald's. We could have easily given them... Ten dollars. I said I said we'd give him five bucks, and he was like, uh, no. Like, he didn't even try to negotiate something. He just, he said no, and he wasn't taking any part. So at this point, I'm so mad. Like, I'm so mad. So what I do is I gently close the door, and I suggest to the group and I that we walk home. And basically for the walk, I am silent, which is rare for me. Mm -hmm. But we get back, and, it, you know, I didn't get food, but... I contained my anger, and we all ended up having a really good night, mm -hmm. regardless of the food situation. It was a really good time. Guelph was fun. I slept in the car. Graham slept in the car, which was cool. There was no room in the house. And by no room, he means I cuddled with several other gentlemen. Yes. But it was totally hot and straight, so. Yeah. That's, oh. why, that's why I slept in the car. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that's all that really happened to me. Josh has a, a bit of a story for me. I have a fun me. story. Um, actually, first, before I tell the story, hey, you guys, I have an explanation. Um, yesterday it was Monday, April, um, the middle, the end of April. It's like in the 20s. I don't know what day it is exactly. Don't tell me. It snowed a lot. Like, it blizzarded. Like, a lot, a lot, a lot of snow. So, basically, after I got home from work, I almost, uh, during the drive home from work, I almost like kind of ditched myself, so I was pretty, I don't know, rattled I guess, like I was pretty nervous about driving for the rest of the night. So when I got home, basically what I did was, I hunkered down, got lots of blankets, I had the house to myself for a little bit, and made some hot chocolate, and I like, I relaxed hard. I just took a really nice, relaxing evening, I hurt my arm at work a little bit, but it wasn't too bad, so I just tried to relax as hard as I could, and that is why there was no Monday, holy crap, this vlog is running really long, I'm sorry. There was no Monday video because the weather was very bad and I couldn't make it out to Graham's house because the weather was really bad. Anyways, today, this morning. So, in the morning, my mother, her car was parked behind my car. Fine, no problem. I usually just switch the cars on my way out because we have a one lane driveway. So I move her car across the street and I park it in the driveway of the neighbor across the street. I get in my car and I pull back a little bit and then I had to make a couple phone calls before I go to work, just seeing what the roads were like and things like that and telling the person I had to pick up that I was picking them up and leaving on time and things of that nature. Anyways, I hang up the phone, I pull out of the driveway, and I leave for work. My mom texts me three hours later at 10.30 saying, Josh, my car is parked across the street and it's been running for the last three hours. So... I didn't want to laugh, but I was laughing, but I was like, oh, this is going to be expensive for me because all of her gas was gone. It was still running when she found it. It was on E, but uh, what I've heard is that idling your car is like letting it run on 60 kilometers an hour, which I guess is like 32 miles per hour if you're American. So yeah, basically her car was just running at 60 kilometers for three hours constantly, which burns off, it burned off a decent amount of gas, and I have to pay her for a gas, a tank of gas, which it could have been worse, I mean, my mom was pretty legit about the whole situation, she was like, you know what, you just pay me for the gas that you wasted, you idiot, you stupid, stupid boy, and yeah, I felt pretty bad, but we all ended up laughing it off in the end, which I thought was kind of cool, it was pretty cool of her. I mean, it could have been taken, which is... I, and that's another thing, nothing, the doors were open, like unlocked. Nothing. They're, they're wide open. Nothing was taken. The car wasn't taken. Which I mean, it's nice to live in a little town where that is like. I mean, if it was anywhere other than Orangeville, <laughs> there's no way the car still would have been there. I mean, I'm sure somebody was walking their dog at one point, like, oh, that person's just warming their car, and they walk back like it's been a little while. Like, I'm, the car was probably pretty warm after three hours. Comes back after two. Man, this car must have been really cold. Yeah. So my bad, mom. And I'm sorry, but even though you don't watch Crosh Talk, but not a big deal. Anyways, guys, um, we're going to start filming the Crosh Talk right now. This was 10 minutes long. If you guys watch this whole thing, wow, you guys deserve something. I'm going to may as well end it right on 10. Peace. Don't say anything.
Okay, talk to you later.